You can call it the anti-Facebook. A Florida mother created a new social media website. She calls it Unthink. Steph D.P. Trentonio uh, shows you what it's all about out of our Tampa newsroom. They are the new kids on the social media block. Unthink. The unfacebookers, if you will. People like me. Challenging you to unthink the way you interact online. To unthink. Unthink is the brainchild of Tampa mom, Natasha Didis, who did not like Facebook's terms of service for her son, so she set out to start her own site on her terms. Spiro Barris is her business partner. What she saw is that Facebook's business model is based on its use of the data that it compiles on its users. So when you sign up on Facebook, are you basically signing your private life away? To the extent that that private life is a product that can be sold to marketers, you are. With Unthink, you have the freedom to choose what you want or don't want, and it's all yours, not the site's. Excuse me. One redesign after another. Whenever there's a, re a redesign of the page, it seems that the pri your privacy settings will default back to a very public setting. And information that you thought was private may not be after the change. A UK venture capital firm ponied up 2.5 million, and the unthinkers were so, on their way. In, in the suite right here, I, I'm actually on the um, invite friends via email. Um, but if I get out of here and just go to my social stream, this is where I can talk to people. Instead of a page user, people are called suite owners. There are various channels and info streams to choose from. Are you sleeping much? Sometimes. Rachel gets the least amount. Of sleep. I work with our team in India. There is a ten and a half hour time difference. They're all a little bleary eyed, pulling nearly straight 24 hour shifts since their launch Wednesday. We were overwhelmed. We received the traffic that we had anticipated for the first month after launch in the first two hours after launch. They had to triple their server capacity virtually overnight to keep up. My own wife was sending me nasty text messages yesterday saying, I can't get on to set up my suite. They have 70 employees now and are committed to staying here in Tampa. This is a place all of us are raising our children and we have no intention of leaving. Steph to be Trentonio, Fox 13 News.